Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. All right, hi there. Because of scratches and uh, I'm gonna play this game as from the same makers and it's some kind of feel of how to get their upcoming game Asylum will be. So this game's called Serena. Oh, it's a very right short Maybe I could have another look. It's a very short game. There's some voice acting, so you won't hear much from me. But I wanted to play it again because I well I did, after scratches stuff interested me a lot. So let's go. Uh, I'm gonna stop my daily, my my rambling. Let's go. Let's take the photo of Serena. Well, she is blurred. Nice. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even? Remember? Why, Serena? What is happening to me? Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. I find it weird that people call salt and pepper spice, but it is a spice. But there are so many other spices, like it's the the mid spice or the low spice. <laughs> Oh my god! I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. My remnants are broken as hell. Keck. What's this? Come love with peace on your, in your heart. Set me up of the ice blue eyes. Ride with me, shed your mortal guys. Here is our mount. A snow white man. Somewhere in here. Come always in refuge. my There must be something that reminds me of Let her. me read, boy. Come always into my garden sphere in the land of you supply your art or shall be the alien cycle of days or suns and sky and rainbow ways. Come, love, with Fuck peace you. in your heart. Yes. Said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. Oh my gosh, he has blue eyes. Holy crap. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Sounds like Neverland. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones. Fairies. Fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Like blue eyes. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. That's why people play bad games and they still keep playing them. Woo! <laughs> My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Oh, in the old country. But how many, how much, how many dialogue options am I gonna get? Weird like mix of doggerel and artistry. I've always been drawn to my grandma. And weird. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I yeah, was just fine, a kid. In between stories of what she could. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Oh. I don't like the creaking. I don't like that at all. That's a bit too creaky. Oh, that's fine. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. The what? If you want to remember, maybe you should open it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. Lies. Lies, I tell you. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Oh, you're depressed. Well, f makes sense. You don't remember your wife or your girlfriend. You don't know what she is to you. She used to keep magazines, paperback novels, the usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. And what time are we? Is this like a, 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 a more recent time? Like our time? Our refuge from the world. 
a place of warmth and passion. Ooh. That does sound a bit uh, passionate, yes. Good night, love. Oh, my God. Oh, that spooked me. She would always bring her reading material like I did. Why are these nightstands so empty? Dust everywhere. Dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a lung. Dust to dust. It's full of little scratches and gouges. Scratches? Dust. The amount of dust. Dust. Everywhere. Da -da 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 dust. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Is that a burn? It's such a burn. The furniture like came it. with the cabin, but the yeah. bedclothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury. True. But without her... Without her, I can't imagine how to use it. And I'm sad by it. We used to keep a pitcher of water and a glass on this nightstand. But they're not here now. Yeah, moving stuff. There's a thick layer of dust and an mm -hmm. almost invisible outline where we kept the water pitcher. I don't see it. I only see a big carpet where the lamp is on. It hasn't been long enough for so much dust to accumulate. Has it? Should have called the game dust. Oh! Magazines! There doesn't seem to be anything I can check here. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. Yes, it needs the existential dread of time, flee, fleeing away from you. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. It's spatial. Uh, but of binaural, I mean. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together and happy. Now it's a front. To the back. Ah. Uh, it shivers. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Hmm. Some clocks are broken. But they can, they will be right two times a day. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. The sun is shining. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. Interesting way to convey it. The hazy afternoon shades of this place. Hmm. What's this? Hello. This is her cabinet. Oh, now he is not someone who says, Ooh, perfumes and trinkets and do that. Ooh, I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, I am altered. I don't care about the female stuff. <laughs> they prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Gotta take your mats. Have you take your mats? I'm generally not fond of taking your medication. Yeah. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. I mean, if you have problems and it's 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 said it works, I guess you should. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. I keep getting <laughs> it's they're like they're sound scarce. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Thank you for finally telling me what it is. Comb. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Oh my god, she has blonde hair. She is a blonde. A blondie with blue eyes. Hers. I used it too, when shaving. Right. The mayor, the, the big mayor. Never mind. It's in here. Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Take them. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? But is she dead or is she gone? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? Is there falling out or did she die? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. 
Don't jinx it, man. Don't jinx it. We have to talk more about the blonde hair. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Now, who knows? Hmm. Hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Hmm. Hmm. It reminds me of uh, Evil Within 2. Where, uh, when missions where you're, you're getting haunted by a ghost lady and you can hear it from the PS4 speaker. From, from the controller, does, does she's close or not? That does spook the hell out of me. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. But I see, I see a mirror. Oh. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. Is she breaking the fourth wall now? After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. That's a way of saying we don't have a character for you uh, fully fleshed out, so you ain't gonna see it. There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. That's a dusty cabin. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. And maybe you should take them. Just saying. What else is in? Oh! Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air, and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Dearest, it's so long and then since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me... The soothing sound of her name. Is he saying that or is he thinking it? A watch. Mother. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. I'm looking around stuff and he's progressing on his own. My God. Anything in there? Money. You'll need money. Nothing in there. And nothing under it. Okay. See that? You see that mirror over there? Yeah, that's a mirror. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. Oh boy. The sunlight is so bright. Oh boy. 
Another oh boy, I'm uh, gonna be happy with that. Yeah, I was talking. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. The sunlight can be confusing, oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen. Or is the stress finally catching up with me? Maybe you should take your mats. Sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a dream catcher above this thing. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too restless to sleep right now. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Look what I made, hun. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. That's something foreboding. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. And no trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. Creaky? What's in the box? Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? What's in the box? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Is the body a Serena in the trunk? It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. Come on! We found this trunk at a flea market. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. It sounds more and more sus suspicious of what, what has happened with Serena. We haven't checked everything yet. Can we go out? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. I, I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. There's always a chance she might return. There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't leave just yet. There's nothing for me out there. What is... Why is this here? Never mind. Nothing in the wood box. A blanket? So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. I can imagine, of course, the most comfortable spot in the cabin. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. I wonder how long they've been together. So it sounds like they've just been together for a couple months, a couple of years. Like, I I don't know how romance works. Uh, take it from me that I'm not good at the thing. But it sounds like they're, they're like, they're like youth in love. And it's, it's still kindling, you know. The first thing, it's kindling. Moving on. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. This used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. Once, we dragged these chairs out to the lake and scrubbed off all the dust and grime of years. That was a long time ago. For all the charm of furniture like this, 
Something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. Who is Ingmar... Oh, Ingmar Bergman? What? One of a matching pair. Obviously. There was a piece of gum stuck to the underside of this chair back when we bought this place. We just left it there. Lazy lovers. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. So she is outside, okay. So they had a, they had a spat or something. And why is, is, is it grimy? The stove is over there. How far does grime go? Does anyone know? I don't know. I never seen grime, but not much grime. A spotless place, this is here. Just kidding. Only my room is not. I can make out nothing through this window. No, you just have to look. I see a, a wooden beam and a roof. There was a time long ago that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. All the windows are drafty, but like everything else, we just got used to it. We liked it, even. How broken was their, was their past? I can make out nothing through this window. There was a time long ago that I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Whoops. Putting her hand under my shirt. What? A Michael Orthit of the Vanishing Town. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. True. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I don't read books, but I know the smell is kind of nice. Not on newspapers, that's different. This smells awful. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. These yours? And those hers? A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. So... Nah, never mind. Most of the books are mine, yeah. but all of hers are still here, too. Right, the stove. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. Yeah, it's very small. Compact. Not too compact. It's, it's small, in my taste. So I, I can understand they calls it intimate. Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. Uh, we agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. Ravioli. <laughs> you silly dolt. Here, give me that. Don't be such a child. Let him be a kid. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. It belongs in a museum. Oops. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate. Yet, I don't feel hungry. Too bad. An archaeologist could excavate the layers of food forever welded onto this and learn about the days when other beings ruled the earth. <laughs> I have more pressing things on my mind. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. I'm thinking she is dead and she and you put her in that chest. And you couldn't handle the guilt, so you regressed your mind into a into a pass to past thing, forgetting what happened, and you're stuck. You don't know how she looks like. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. True. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. 
To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's some interesting paintings at times. I, I cannot move from here. It's kind of a kind of a shame. Nothing but the pot. Only the carpets. Um, don't like the creaks. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Uh, that's how it works. I can't, so this is useless. Okay. There. <laughs> is that how she looked? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. Sorry, but it kind of looks like he remembers her, his face on her, but then only with the blue eyes and the blonde hair. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Well, then cherish it, then. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. So they are in, in present day. My love. My love. Time has moved. What does that mean? How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Am I supposed to move now? Move out? True friends stand by each other through any advers adversity. Why? We might just as well stay here. Why? What? what? Huh? Something changed. Do I open the box now? Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. I know it's my general state of mind. But I feel even more depressed near this home. Oh! Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. She believed! Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Why can't you just accept that I want God in my life? Have you any idea how many times he has helped me get through? Of course you wouldn't know. He was there for me all the times you weren't. He's like a polyamoric relationship with God and the third side. No, just kidding. I don't know. I am not religious myself, so I don't know how she feels with and having God in her life, but well, it's something to discuss in a relationship for sure. Like, is, is the person you're dating okay with you being religious? If you, if the person, you, if you aren't religious, if you don't mind, that's good, but if you do mind, then you need some talking points. That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. It looked like a... like a doll. Does it mean anything that it's next to her Bible? Anyway, it's just some boring plant. Don't disregard the plant. A plant is a plant. 
beautiful to some, boring to others. And the language of flowers. I don't know that one. I don't even recognize the plants. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence, confined in their own silent, dark world. Who oh, knows? No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Does it make you religious if you start reading a Bible? I have no need for the words in there. I don't feel like being... Ed we have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. Oh, like Vanishing Down by Michael Althut. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. That took some time to load. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. He remembered her features, remembering stuff. Clothes, clothes, and clothes. Clothes, clothes. Pants, pantalones. I don't see anything different. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. Oh, beat it. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. Mm. You don't mind or you don't mind. Wait, is anything changed in here? No. It, it's different. But that just... It can't be different. Am I going mad? Somehow she looks sadder than Oh, she does! Could I really have been so wrong about that night? She's pissed! I just noticed! Oh boy! That ain't good. That ain't good, no. We don't have a lot of photos. The guy who snapped it? My love. And then he goes back to his usual stuff. Okay, uh, well... Guess we'll have to look around and see if things change. I should really stay. I'm so tired, anyway. And then she changed. Over there changed. Years passed, no tears fell. We found this trunk big enough for a lifetime of mementos. But he was tired. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? No idea. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips, but I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. My light's busted again. Can I come over to your side and read? Well, let's face it, her reading material was shallow, to say the least. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't let the bedbugs bite. I'm the only one allowed to do the biting here. My god! I can almost feel her hair tickling my neck. The intoxicating smell of her skin. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a... I feel too restless to sleep right now. He said it was tired. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Same. We seemed to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. Change your scenery! Everybody thinks that living out in the middle of a dark, dense forest is so romantic. Nothing but you and nature. Serena and I thought so too, once. That is, until the loneliness kicked in. Yeah, if you're only alone with only you and and your significant other, you will go mad after a while. Cabin fever is a thing, after all. Why did we choose this place? We were both so young and spontaneous. Why did we suddenly decide we should let our love wither away in a still life? There's a crack in this window from a tantrum. Were there times I could have complimented the way she dressed? Told her how beautiful she was to me? Instead of assuming she already knew? 
How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Wait, he loves her, loves her, but then he he's going mad. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm, I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? <sighs> I'm too angry to even care. The music is a bit ominous. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. He hit, she hit him? She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. But it was a sore point for me. Oh, he call, she called him a ghoul. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I'm intrigued, holy fuck. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. The heck? That incessant noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! He's pissed! It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's, it's just not dark enough anyway. Sunlight burns up. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. My god! The light is so dim here. Makes me want to chop down every tree outside. There's only a limited window of opportunity for everything. And I wasted mine. He did a complete 180. All the real color faded from it long ago. No, there's still color. Oh, well, from my 4K screen there is. The other is a bit too dusty. There's a green filter on it. It must like be full of dusty dust filter. I should burn it. You should also burn the bat then. I told her the rug was fine work. Like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Oh my... God. What do you say about this now? I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! Disease-ridden? What? What did she... What? Huh? Everything she wore, just to lure me in. I mean, that's love. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire. What is wrong with me? You still have restraint. It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? Ah. God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? He called it a fairy tale just a second ago, and now you're saying you want comfort of God? Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. You gotta take joy in the little things in life, man. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this, this sublunary distraction. Damn. I was gonna say, he's just a sad man, lament, lament thing, or, or mourning the loss of his wife or girlfriend. But now he's an arrogant prick. His true colors are showing. What is he gonna say about the poem? Changeable man, insolent wretch. <laughs> Sounds like Serena, all right. Wait, the thing is different. I didn't notice. Changeable man, insolent wretch. Who was it made the first overtures? Named love unending as time endures. Even as we rode across my father's realm, the mystic sea burnished thy poet's helm. Know this. Scribe it in thy final sketch. Spell thy love without fail. Fault to the fate. Or end thy life with feet of mortal clay. Her father's realm. She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananon. What was it? Mananon. Butler? 
on and on. Ishnipo. Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananan, was of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. Bigman for <laughs> calling his Mananan. It's <laughs> a dumb tangent. Why torture myself trying to remember? Because you are a martyr. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. Oh, I can open it. Let's see. Let's see. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Shit. Now I remember. It was me all the time. I lost her, and it's all my fault. Yep. It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk, a shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? Why torture myself trying to remember? Oh. Oh, thanks, James. Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. No ghost or ever. Oh, that's dope. She's angry now. <clears throat> Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? What the heck, you arrogant ass? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. What's his name, anyway? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Oh, I have something. Oh, this changes the way I look. Oh, gross. Oh, okay. I put it on. What's in it? A ring. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. 
that wonderful smile. Do you hate her? Do you like her? No, it's uh, a love and hate are, th- are on a thin line across from each other, so I don't know. I don't know. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? No. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? I don't see the cursor having a thing. It can't be true. I don't see the cursor having the thing. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. Does this mean he will now open the thing? Changeable man, insolent wretch. Something else has changed. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Wait, uh, what is it? What was this? Oh. Oh, their clothes are a bloodied. They might be. Ah! Oh my god. What is this? It can't. It isn't. He did. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. It's saying something. No. Open it back up. I can't. I can't. I can't move it. Fuck. 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 Shit. Please, let me wake up. Let it be a dream. Time is standing still as well. I just noticed the clock isn't making noise. We used to have some sleeping pills here. They're gone. Oh, I'd give anything for a bottle of scotch. Is this purgatory? My own dark world, barely alive. Is this my eternal punishment? I wonder if this plant is poisonous. With my luck, it would just give me a headache. Atropa Belladonna. You were a better fate for me. Well, he knows the name of the, of the flower. What? what? Uh, she hits. Isn't time supposed to heal all wounds? That's a lie. I've really gone insane this time, haven't I? I could swear time is standing still. How long must I suffer? The sun is a silent death for some. Dehydration? Delirium? If I smash the window, I could just slit my wrists with the shards. My god! Well, he's probably already I dead. I can't bear looking at this. All the neglect within. Take our mats. What's happening to me? Is this real or some kind of drug-fueled nightmare? That's what I'm asking here. Wish I could overdose myself with this. But nah, an easy way out is never the best one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No one knows. My head is pounding. Is it the pills I never took? Is this my punishment? Should have taken the pills. Take the keys. She's not coming back. She never left. I've been running from a lot, but I can't run away from this. I, I must be in shock. It, it still hasn't sunk in emotionally what I, I must have done. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. I can't bring myself to close my eyes. 
I know I'll see her. And what have I done? Nothing different here. It might as well be a coffin. Everything within it is just dead. With a twist of wind, Uishin fell hard on his homeland ground, watched his mount flee, looked up and found a silent banshee, crone of silver hair, how came I here, stranger as all, on time's rocking beer, beer, here, tear, beer, thou art old but recall, to me a bard, I knew in youth, now make away man, make away man's husk. I go bury my past in the crimson dusk. With a twist of wind, Oshin fell hard on his homeland ground. You and me both, my warrior poet. You and me both. I read somewhere, I forget where, only one way a fairy romance can end. Death? There's only one way anything can end, really. Death. 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 Uh, wait, we're death. My face? What's happened to my face? Is this my punishment? Wait, am I just reliving the same thing over and over? It's like looking into a mirror. I've just been slowly rotting inside all along. I took her life. I am a demon. A destroyer. Impure. Dude, how long have they been there? Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Burning the pl they were. Wait, was that the plan and we stopped her? Or was that us? Who's, who's the guy? Is that us? Is oh, it someone shit. else? We forgot your. Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No! It's not like this! Oh. That thing still happened, and we just... We died? We burned alive? That explains why... The thing was burned, but holy shit! Holy crap! My god! <laughs> ah, shivers! It did take a while to make sure I was able to require it, but... So I did- Ugushi allows to use her name and likeness. Oh! Ooh, I'm so sorry of what I said. R.I.P. Yep, the music. Just like in Scratches, it's... It's good. It's 
some kind of requiem or something. <sighs> yeah, such stories like these are are fun. If they're like this, they have a they have a way to show the story. It's it's good, even though it's short. It's good. It's good. It's, it's 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 fine. That's what most games are. They tell a story. Most games and all. Some are just a simulation of what you could do, but you didn't do in your real life, so you do it in a game. That's just my f philosophical whatevers. I wonder, do I have to wait or something? What happens if I just wait? Serena. Yeah, I noticed that they're saying Serena. <laughs> <laughs> 